My name is Joseph Carter, and I am the Mink Man. I've been an animal lover my entire life. I grew up training cattle dogs and cow horses with my grandfather, and I was an avid falconer in my teens and early 20s. When I was a senior in high school, I started learning about the American mink. I was told that mink were horrible, vicious little animals who were impossible to tame. Challenge accepted. I've been in love with mink ever since, and have devoted the last 14 years of my life to learning about this marvelous little predator. I get mink from fur farms and give them a new life. In this new life, my mink live as naturally as possible, even hunting for their dinner the way a wild mink would. So come join me on my adventures as we learn more about this intense little predator, the amazing American mink. Wyatt, how come you're so cute and tiny, Wyatt? How come you're so cute and tiny? But we can check and see. So we're out today just going on a little walk with the mink. This is great for them to learn uh, new places and to be able to get out and uh, just experience new things. Typically when we take them out we go to places with water so they can swim and play. And uh, yeah, this is a perfect little place to take them out. We're also going to do their training for recall and um, yeah, just have a good time. Okay, so the one of the tricky things about practicing the food call when they're this young is that they they stay so close to you that <laughs> you can't get away to call them. So I'm gonna have one of the girls distract him so that I can call him from a little bit of a distance. I like to do little practice calls like that when we're out and about. In this case, he's still young enough that Wyatt wouldn't get out from underfoot. So we used Ellie to distract him so I could get away and then call him to me. And that way he gets used to the food call. And it's vital because as they mature, you never know what point they're gonna all of a sudden get independent and take off. Or maybe scared of something and take off. So you wanna teach that food call early on so it doesn't sneak up on you. And you find out one day, oh, the mink's too mature to follow me everywhere like they do when they're babies. And I can't get them back, you know. So I do it very early on and just teach them to come as soon as they can really run around very much. We haven't done any caching training yet. Um, right now I'm just teaching them to trust me with the food. So they naturally don't trust, especially when they're young because their instincts tell them that they're to compete with their siblings over food. And so I don't, uh, I don't want him competing with me over food. I want him to trust me and know I'm not gonna steal his food. So I purposely, before we do any caching training, go through basically some trust building exercises where he eats out of my hand, he eats while I'm holding him, and I can pet him and just build trust in him so that he knows I'm no threat to his dinner. Do you raise mates? I do, yeah. Oh cool, I've only, I used to work up at Silver Lake oh, as yeah? a ranger, so I know oh, I see the up wild there. mink? Yeah. yeah, I've never seen a domestic one. Yeah, well they're really, really highly strung, aggressive animals. Yeah. So. So most people can't handle them. Yeah, they live under the border walk at, or border oh, walk yeah. at Silver Lake. Oh yeah, there's lots of them. Yeah, yeah, so if you ever, I guess you probably know. Yeah, <laughs> I've been up there and seen their droppings. I've never actually seen one, but I've yeah. seen their droppings. Yeah, I only saw one once. And I spent the whole summer every day up there. They're sneaky. <laughs> they are. They're super yes. sneaky. You could literally have one living in your backyard and for 10 years and never see it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's I've nice seen, to meet you. I've seen their sign up there. And, it's, oh, yeah. it's perfect habitat, so yeah. I'm sure there's good numbers of them.
Got a little confused there with all the people. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch it. No, no, you guys stay back. Buddy. Just look at it. It's, it's a meek. He looks like he's eating raspberries or something. <laughs> it's the opposite of raspberry. Oh, is it meat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's red meat. <laughs> is this muskrat meat? Yeah, it's mostly muskrat meat. Oh. Muskrat meat, I think it's got a little bit of rock chuck in it. And. Maybe some chicken. You playing with Wyatt? Huh? Get that little Wyatt. Get that little Wyatt. Come on, Wyatt. Come on, that a good boy. That a good boy. So cute. So cute and tiny. Come on, Wyatt. Good boy. That a good boy. That a good boy. Come on, Wyatt. I wonder if we ever have a boy, if he's going to be more like you or more like me. Or a combination. Mm -hmm. Here we go! Oh, hey, look at this. What? Look at this, girls. A snake! Come on. Who snakes that? Me! Galilee snake! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's a garter snake, just like the ones we have. My friend recently introduced me to these El Matador knives. These are really cool knives. They're uh, super, super sharp, really high quality blades and uh, materials. Super cool. Uh, go ahead and check them out. I'm going to leave a link in the description below. I'm excited to announce to everyone that we have new merch. So we have a new t-shirt design, challenge accepted. In addition to that, we also have hoodies, beanies, 
and we have youth sized clothing as well. So jump on over on the link in the description below if you want to take a look at our merch. 